Yes, let's make a pair video of this uh, welder here. This is a Celco Genesis 140. We got the cables here, so I need to test it after I'm done with it. Let's see how we can open this up. Here's the front potentiometer for the current. Okay, we can change if it's a. Is that a TIG nozzle? Can use this for a TIG as well. So we got some information on the back. Yes, here we can see some information on that. And yes, here you can see the inside schematic. Converter here, transformer, rectifier and DC output. 14.8 volt, 100 amps, 40 amps, 25.6 volts, 2.74 kilowatts, maybe. 4.22 kilowatts, pretty powerful. Will blow the 16 amp uh, circuit breaker with 4.2 kilowatts. It can only run for like uh, 3.6 kilowatts from a 16 amp circuit. A little bit over current, but good enough. Let's remove the screws here and see what's inside. Here's the inside of it. This looks like the rectifier part. Wait a minute. I think I have one of these welders. I will come soon. Yes, here we go. Here's another welder, exactly like this one, which was thrown away. And the under part is exactly the same. I hold it the right way, of course. Yes, here you can see it, same, same. So I have some spare parts here. So that's good to know. Got the transformer here, which is made out of PCBs. Got the choke down here. And the rectifier looks good. Let's get the lid off. Now it's taken apart a little bit more. And everything up here looks good. And if you look in here in the power module, with the IGBT is under here. There's some kind of bodge here. Kind of strange, looks like somebody else have been in here and repaired it. Maybe that's the wrong thing. Get this circuit board out and have a closer look on that one. Yes, power comes in here. Got the rectifier here. Filtering capacitors. A common mode choke. Some interference capacitors. Input capacitor. Yes, this part looks uh, bodged. And the other one, here's the other one. That doesn't got any bodge. Looks nice and neat here. They are not quite the same. You can see on the front here, got the terminals. This one looks a bit longer, but they're next to each other like this. So you can see here the circuit boards looks quite the same, but the lengths are not the same. This is a bit longer. A lot of terminals on the front there. Actually, why have they done that? The terminals are in here. I just put some screws in here and to extend it a bit. It's the same module. It's just, everything is the same, but this front part is a bit different. Yes, now I removed the circuit boards, desoldered the IGBTs, which was stuck on the heatsink. And this is the welder that I will repair. The capacitor well fell off of that. There's the bodge. And here's the other circuit board. I will put this one in the welder and see if it works better. I think some IGBTs was blown on that board. We will test them and see if they are okay. Here you can see how the IGBTs are connected on the heatsink. And let's see if this works good. This is how I test them. This is the gate. This is negative. This is positive here. And the LED should turn on and off like this. Test all the IGBTs. There are 10 of them. And now the LED just turned off. And let's see if all of them are okay. They are all connected in parallel. Yes, now all the IGBTs are tested. And uh, here are the IGBTs from the other welder. I haven't tested these ones yet. Yes, let's try to put the circuit board on the top. Now the circuit board is in place. Let's solder the IGBTs and put everything back together. Now I've soldered the circuit board in place. And everything is connected together. So before I put everything back in the housing, I will test it and see if I get any voltage out. And another interesting thing is the transformer. Looks like this. That's a pretty thick PCB. It's a PCB transformer. Very special. Here's a ferrite core with a heatsink. So I think it must run on very high frequency. If even this uh, ferrite core gets warm from the eddy currents. There's primary here. Secondary here. Yes, that's an interesting thing. Let's plug this one in. See if it explodes. Three, two, one. The fan turn on? No? So maybe the top board on this one is faulty. So I'm gonna change the top board and see if it works better. Let's now change the top module. Here's the old one. Let's see if it works better or if it explodes violently. 
I maybe should plug the display in. Now it's plugged in. Maybe it helps a little bit more. No, that's nothing. Yes, now I have unplugged the bottom board. Let's see if the power supply turns on and the fan rotates. No, it does absolutely nothing. Now I disconnected the wires to the capacitors. Let's see if what it does now. Nothing. Yes, I searched for more problems. I found these two. This is a MOSFET, which was broken, was shorted out. And this is a pretty special Zener diode that didn't work as it's supposed to. It's a 47 volt Zener diode. That's a pretty special one, 2 watts. Yes, let's plug it in now and see what it does. If it explodes, I haven't tried it. Oh, it turns on. Let's shut it down. Let's put it a bit closer so I can see the LEDs blinking. The fan turns on. Oh, I forgot something. We need to have the display as well. The controller. Out of the scale. 58 volts? Why well, doesn't it change? Why does the fan do that? Yes, I think it's kind of working, so let's get everything back together and let's test it. Now, let's try to weld something. A little bit more current. I'm not so good at welding as you can see. That looks almost good. Let's try the other side. Oh, the welder just shut off. I think I blow the fuse. A bit too much current. Fuse in the control board is still okay. So maybe the fuse back here on the isolation transformer. Let's have a listen. Yes. Yes, now we know the welder is working good and it blowed the fuse on the isolation transformer, which is just 8 amps. Hmm. Let's see how much current or power it draws. I'm gonna put the camera here and go out welding. Yes, I don't know how much power it draws. I'm gonna go out welding and here we got the kilowatts and the kilovolt amp reactive. Maybe it looked a bit strange because this happened. I didn't get the electrode off. Completely welded there. I may be not the best uh, electrode welder. I don't have any or so much opportunities to weld like this. Yes, now we know that this welder is working and that I'm not so good at uh, welding with these uh, electrodes. Yes, let's bring this back and let's see if it works another while. Hope you found this video interesting and thanks for watching.